Okay, so in this video, we're going to work on our home page. We're going to change this so that we actually pull in blogs from our database. And we're going to change the style of how they look. In addition to that, we're going to add in pagination. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go into our blog service. And we're going to create another overloaded method for get blogs. Because what we want to do is search the database for blogs that will contain a search string. And we're going to order these by descending on the updated on date. And here we're just going to check and make sure that um, because we have the search string, we only want blogs where the title or the content contains that search string. And that's it. Now we can just add this to our interface. Before we move any further, we're going to go ahead and install a NuGet package that will help us with our pagination. And we're going to go ahead and pick out this pagedList.coreMBC. Now with that installed, we're going to go ahead and create our view model for our home index. So go ahead and go to models. We'll create a new folder. And let's create a new class called index view model. Now inside of this view model, what we're going to handle are a list of blogs, but this is where we're going to use that page list. So. But in this view model, we also want a few other properties, one of which will be our query string, so our search string. And we're also going to want a page number. Okay, and that'll do us for now in the index view model. Now inside of our blog business manager, we'll create a method for retrieving that index view model. So let's add a public method for grabbing that index view model. And let's make sure that we pull in the home view models. We're going to take in a search string as well as a nullable page. Now we're also going to want to set a page size. And by default, I'm going to set mine to 20. And let's declare our page number, which will be our nullable page. And if a null value is sent in, we'll default it to 1. Now let's grab our blogs. Earlier, we created the method inside our blog service to take in the search string. So go ahead and grab that. And we'll pass in our search string, but it is possible for the search string to be null. So go ahead and let's check on that. And if it is null, just send it in as empty. Now we can actually return our index view model. And for our blogs, we are going to return it as a static page list. So blogs equals. So here's where we will manipulate what the pages are consisted of. First thing we're going to do is tell it where to start this page. So I'll write this out and then we'll go over it a little bit. Okay, so what this means, let's say the user did not pass a page in. By default, it will become one. So page number is one. We take one, we subtract one from it, we have zero. Zero times the page size, which is 20, still equals zero. We will skip zero of the blogs. Now, let's say they passed in page two. So in that case, two minus one equals one times 20 equals 20. So we'll skip 20. The overloaded method that we're going to use is this one. So we're going to tell it the page number, which is page number, followed by page size, which we have here, and then the total item count, which will just be the count of blogs. Now we want to set 
our search string and we want to set page number to page number. And then we can just take this and add it to our interface. And we're done with that. So the next part we're going to work on is rebuilding our home controller. And we're going to have to pull in our blog business manager. And we don't really need this logger. And I'm not going to use that. So inside of the index, we just want to call that get index view model method. And for our index, we're also we're going to take in a string for our search string. And nullable end for page. Inside of our view, we can just do. And that's all we need for our home controller. Okay, so now there's just a few small things I want to change and clean up before we start working on our view. We use that page list. So in order to get that working, we need to go into our views and then our view import. And then here, we need to add a line to add another tag helper. Inside of our CSS file going to open this up. So we are using this minified version. The change that we're making is really small. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to both of these. And all we're doing is we're adding a new class called content. We're setting the height to be calculated based on the vertical height minus 100 pixels. And that's it. And then in our minified Now we can go over to our layout for home. So come down to our views, home, and then layout. And in here, wrap this body inside of uh, a div with the class set to content. Now the last thing we have to do is just change our view. So in our home index, I've already created the HTML. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all this and paste over it. And just to highlight some key elements here, we do have our form with our search uh, as well as we iterate over each blog and we create a card for it with a link to the blog index with the route ID of the blog ID. And then finally, the important part for our page list, this tag helper provided via the pagelist.core.mbc nuget, which allows us buttons for going previous or next, as well as the query string. So that's everything for the view. Let's check it out. Okay, so I currently do not have any blogs. So right now I'm going to log in. We'll create a few blogs. Okay, so dashboard, we have our three blogs. So if we go to our home, okay, we see that we have uh, three blogs. Now if we search, uh, let's say we search another, we only get the one returned. If we search for tall, get the one returned. So we have this set for 20, so it's always going to be one page for now because we only have three blogs. So let's test that, make sure the paging works. All we got to do is just change, I'll set that to two so that, you know, a page size is two and then we have the one left over for the third. Okay, now we have two pages, however, 
already showing up here. So what's going on with that? Ah, so something I missed inside of our index view model when we create our static page list, we need to take a certain amount. So we're only going to take the page size amount. So take and just add in page size. Now let's try it out again. We only get to go to the next page. We see this one. Previous. Okay. And then let's say we go into here and we edit this to be not published. Submit. We are seeing three, so we need to fix this as well. So we only want blogs that are published. So we'll just throw on a where clause where 